Yeah, look, I take a somewhat, you know, friendly issue with the words just YouTubers. There's nothing wrong with the YouTube community. You got guys out there making incredible stuff, including you, Walter. Great. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And have you done any videos with Sigma before? Yeah. Which, what did you talk about then? Do you remember? I don't want to say the same stuff. No, don't, don't worry about it. Okay. You're good. Good to go? Yeah. Okay, hey guys, my name is Graham Miller Sheldon. I'm a Sigma Cine ambassador. We're here at Cinegear 2023. And honestly, my favorite lens these days is the 65 millimeter T1.5. It fills this, what some people might consider a tiny gap between 50 millimeter and 85 millimeter. And it's just an absolutely gorgeous focal length. T1.5 covers full frame, 43.3 millimeter image circle, has that unified front diameter for matte boxes that we, you know, that just makes my life easier on set when I'm changing matte boxes. Um, of course, you could do a threaded filter if you want to. 86 millimeter is the thread size. I mean, you know, it has that uh, signature sharpness from edge to edge that Sigma's known for um, in terms of just characteristics. You know, minimal controlled flaring, I would say. It just fits really, really well within that Sigma uh, OG lineup, so to speak. Also, of course, we have the Sigma FP here today. One of the uh, things we're most excited about is firmware version uh, 3 with L-Zone as well as just generally camera to cloud. We've teamed up with Atomos on the Sigma side to bring camera to cloud to the FP using a Ninja 5. You could use a Shogun with an Atomos Connect to send footage directly from the FP to the cloud. And of course, I'm always using the FP for director's viewfinder, walking around set, use, using the actual glass that I'm shooting my project on is so key versus a application uh, you know, on, on my phone. So a lot going on here at Cinegear 2023 for Sigma, but for me, it's the FP, it's the FPL camera, and the new 65 millimeter T1.5 Cine Prime. Available, of course, in E-mount, PL, and EF. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh yeah, what are we doing? Hey, hey, uh, I look at, I've been watching Cine D for like a number of years, Graham is from California, and they have Johnny from Austria. Uh, yeah, and Nino as well, Nino, Nino as well, yep. Yeah. So I really, 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 these guys are my inspiration for me doing my one-man band. Uh, you know, you are. Oh, cool, oh, that's yeah. so nice to hear. Yeah, yeah, you know, also a uh, Sigma ambassador, but yeah. Oh, yeah, Sigma ambassador, but you're a, deep, you're a DP, right? Yeah, I'm a like, union DP based out of uh, California, and then I work, you know, all over the planet, honestly. So these guys are actually working uh, people in the film industry. Johnny's an uh, independent filmmaker. Yeah, every, everybody, everybody is. I mean, that's a really important part of it for us. It's, it's not just that we're kind of living in a cocoon. We're actually out making shows. I've worked for most of the major networks. I have seven or eight features at this point that are out. So yeah. that's important to us because we want to be able to talk about technology from a very informed place. So these guys are like inside actually doing it, not just YouTubers talking about stuff, they're actually doing it, which is my inspiration for doing what I'm doing. So I just want to thank Graham, and I can't wait to meet Johnny and uh, Nino. Nino, yeah, look, I take a, a somewhat, you know, friendly issue with the words just YouTubers. There's nothing wrong with the YouTube community. You got guys out there making incredible stuff, including you, Walter. Yeah, but I'm saying what's cool is you, you actually, you're making uh, videos and films and documentaries, and then you take that experience and you bring it to your YouTube channel, which I really enjoy. Thank, well, you, thank you, Graham. I know he has to get going. Here's another interview, but uh, we're at the Sigma booth. Uh, he's a Sigma, Sigma ambassador, right? I'm a Sigma ambassador, absolutely. And here's that 65, my favorite focal length these days from Sigma. Thank you very much, Graham. Thank you. <laughs> I, bet I wasn't joking. Hey, everyone. I'm Frank Ramirez. I'm from Sigma. Uh, I just want to thank Graham for being here, talking about all of our stuff. We really appreciate him. He's an amazing guy, as you all well know. But I just want to kind of elaborate a little bit more. So in IBC last year, in September, we released the 65 millimeter T1.5 in our high speed full frame prime set. But along with that, we also included the 65 in the classic series. So the classics are a completely different line than the normal ones. 
the classics are our take on a modern vintage look without any of the drawbacks like smearing, color aberrations. You still got a lot of sharpness in this, just a little bit more diffused with more flaring. So now with the introduction of the 65, we have 11 lenses across the set. We have everything from the 14 millimeter T2, which is our widest focal length, all the way up to the 135 T2. So everything you're covered, whatever you wanna do, we have the tools to make sure that you get the job done. I also want to mention that we're here in Burbank. If you guys are local to the area, please feel free to stop by our showroom if you want a demo. If you just want to talk, we're going to be there for you. We have events coming up. We have an event tomorrow, and we will have events for the foreseeable future. Just keep in contact. Just look at our events page at sigmaphoto.com or reach out to us at sigmaphoto at sigmacine on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, we really appreciate being back on the lot for Cine Gear. Can't wait for next year. Thank you, guys. Boom.